The processes of planning, implementing, and operating budgets are together referred to as budgeting. It is the administrative process of creating and preparing a budget and maintaining a budget and the associated procedures. Budgeting is the most advanced level of accounting in terms of the future because it implies a specific plan of action rather than merely reporting financial information. The objective of budgeting is to create a model of how the company might perform financially speaking, provided specific strategies, events, and plans are carried out. Budgets can be broken down into several categories, operating, capital, and capital expenditures. The manager's goal in developing a business plan is to make an accurate projection of the company's income and expenses and, consequently, its profitability. Here are the 10 budgeting principles that are considered to be the most significant in management. Number 10. Track your spending. If creating a budget seems like too much work, you should begin by keeping track of your spending. There is a variation of methods available to keep track of your expenditures, but the following are some of our favorites. Mint, this free app establishes a connection to your financial accounts, including checking, savings, and credit card. After that, it will present you with a weekly report detailing the amount of money you have spent. Spreadsheet, if you want a more hands-on method, tracking your expenditures on a spreadsheet is a good option. Make a note of this on your phone. Even if it's not the classiest method to handle the situation, likely you always have your smartphone on you when you go to make a financial transaction. Try keeping track of all of your expenditures for one whole month. Because you are paying attention, you will probably discover that you spend less money overall. Number 9. Principle of Annual This suggests that a budget is established on an annual basis every year. Because it is the optimal period for which the legislature can afford to transfer financial authority to the executive, a term of one year is considered the ideal period for budgeting purposes. In addition, the executive branch requires this amount of time to implement the budget suggestions efficiently. Plus, the conventional units of measurement for human estimates are roughly equivalent to a year. The development of budgets on an annual basis is a prevalent phenomenon. In certain member nations of the OECD, annual budgets are now structured within a framework that spans many years. Number 8. Plan in Increments The daunting task of executing an entire year's worth of funds can be broken up into more manageable chunks for financial managers by using execution plans that are on a monthly or quarterly basis. These plans can be created monthly or quarterly and borrow concepts from cash flow analysis. As a result, financial managers can more accurately predict the dates on which they will have sufficient funds to meet specific requirements. Financial managers are better equipped to adjust plans for current and future periods based on environmental shifts if they limit their attention to just one month or quarter's worth of actions at a time. Number 7. Accuracy The numbers included in a budget estimate the amount of money earned in the following year and the sums that will be spent. It is the responsibility of the Ministry of Finance, which formulated it with the assistance of the information and resources provided by the other departments. These estimations have to be spot on in terms of accuracy and detail. The accuracy is determined by the amount of accurate, credible, and objective data and information used in the calculation. Number 6. Track progress. In addition to establishing goals, financial managers can gain greater transparency into the health of their organization by tracking relevant data points surrounding the budget execution process. Managers gain an increased capacity to identify problems and address them before they affect the overall budget execution process by tracking data points, such as the length of time from request to obligation, obligation rate by branch slash program slash project and year-to-year -year comparative obligation rate. Number 5. Establish the order of your financial concerns. You have determined how much money you require to maintain your current lifestyle. The next step is determining how you will spend the remaining funds. There are various options from pleasurable pursuits like vacations to memberships at health-promoting establishments like a yoga studio. Plus, the amount of money you have to deal with is quite limited. Having this information in hand requires you to establish your financial priorities. The first step in this process is determining what you place the most importance on and then allocating your resources accordingly. Take, for example, the fact that you have a strong passion for skiing. Because of this matter's importance, you decide to cut back on how much you spend on eating out. In this mode, you can save more money for the subsequent fantastic weekend spent on the slopes. If you got sufficient money, it would be fantastic to participate in every activity that would be pleasant or interesting to you. But in the real world, you must choose between competing priorities. You will be able to confidently make these trade-offs once you have decided what your financial priorities are. Number 4. Engage stakeholders throughout the process of budget execution to be successful, regular communication is required. Engaging with requirement owners early on in executing the budget, for instance, assures that fewer surprises will surface later in the fiscal year, which can complicate execution plans and potentially undermine their viability. 
In addition, frequent engagement with contracting offices helps address information asymmetries between departments and ensures that pledges are turned into obligations without causing significant delays. Number three, budget for fun things. Putting food on the table and paying the rent are only two components of your budget. It is also about assisting you in allocating financial resources toward activities that bring you delight. Don't be so strict with yourself when you're making your budget. Refrain from acting like you will never go out to eat, grab a cappuccino, or buy Austin Powers action figures. Pretending to be unable to do so is dishonest. Since it is your money, it is perfectly oak to use some of it to purchase things that please you. The most important thing is to make a spending plan for your extra money so that you will know you will have adequate money for the things you need. Number two, view your budget as always evolving. Although the concept of budgeting is straightforward, there is a great deal of information to absorb on its implementation. Consider that your plan needs to match up with reality to be an opportunity for growth rather than a source of frustration. Your budget, after all, is never done. It will continue to change as you become more skilled at managing your finances and the priorities most important to your move. If you can come to terms with this fact, you will have a far better chance of maintaining your budget over the long term. But if you expect budgeting to transform your life overnight wholly, you're setting yourself up for nothing but disappointment. Number one, make your budget flexible. You shouldn't expect your budget to be able to anticipate the future because no one can do it successfully. Regardless of how carefully and thoughtfully you plan, life will have other things in store for you. Therefore, making allowances in your budget for unanticipated events is prudent. Specifically, we suggest including a category labeled stuff I forgot to budget for or unexpected expenses in your financial plan. When you are new to budgeting, this is especially helpful because it is probable that there are expenses that you haven't even thought about yet. If you do not require the additional funds, that is wonderful. You might put it toward the settlement of your debts or investments. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.